All right, it's time to get spooky. That's right. Come, Deep Pound Debbie. Um, I love this. <laughs> I don't know if you made this, but I'm looking forward to all the things that you're going to show us. And yes. she brought candy. And I did. Bring candy. <laughs> that you can get at Home Depot, believe it or not. Oh, no, really? Yeah. <laughs> you can get everything there. I'm One telling you what. One-stop shop. Love it. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> so we're going to make a craft uh, for your entryway. You could put it on your door. You could stand it up. But uh, first I want to talk about some of the things. We've got a veritable plethora of Halloween and fall decorations at Home Depot. So here's a couple pictures of the blow up things and I want to show you how quickly oh, you okay. can blow it up. So I'm just plugging this pumpkin in uh -huh. and while we're talking, that's gonna inflate. I'll be darned. And you don't have to do anything. It's got a weight in it, it's got a light in it, it's got its own generator, so it stays. Insta deco. Insta deco, exactly. <laughs> so there it goes. And you know, it takes a couple minutes, and the bigger the Ooh, uh, showing ornament. My bare feces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take off my shoes because I'm so much taller than Debbie. <laughs> okay. So, so as that blows up, we'll talk about the rest of it. Um, there's a lot of blow-up decorations. Mm -hmm. This tree is something you can just put together simply like a Christmas tree, and it's got three pieces, and plug it in, and then you've got another decoration I in the fall that. colors. And again, this will transition from Halloween into the fall season through Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. so that's a great thing. What I'm making here is um, just a placard for your door, yeah. and it's so simple. So we're using tongue and groove unfinished board. So this requires eight feet. Each piece is 32 inches. So one eight foot board is a little under $6. Okay. So you can make this whole thing basically for very inexpensive. So what you're gonna do, we can cut it at Home Depot or you can cut it at home. And again, we'll have all the directions on the website. But this is tongue and groove board. Tongue and groove means one side fits into the other. So it's a tongue and a groove. So you just push them together like so. Mm -hmm. And they fit nicely. And this is typically used for walls or you know nowadays with the um, big push on decorative wood plank walls yeah. this is great you can make it any finish you want but we're using it for a for a craft today so you put these together and then if you want to make a pumpkin like this you would use a piece of one by four and it, this is just going to be mounted across the front to create a hat look uh -huh. if you want to do a ghost and we're going to show how to decorate them later you can put this on the back for support. You okay. would just cut it shorter so it didn't overlap. Right. If you're using this as the pumpkin, you just want to center the um, board on the back of it, and then we're going to screw down. The one thing I do want to make note of is this has a rough sawn yeah. side, and it has a smooth side. So whichever you prefer, if you want a more rustic look, you use the rough sawn. If you, use, if you want the uh, more contemporary look, you're going to use the smooth side. So you're just going to put those together, and then we're gonna take these screws. Now these are great screws because they pre-drill for you. Mm -hmm. Typically with soft wood like this, you'd have to drill a hole and then screw the screw in to prevent yeah. splitting and cracking. But these screws are great and they just simply go right in. Like so. Look at you, you're not and measuring or nothing. No. <laughs> You're going to put two screws in each one. And if you want a little more security, you can use uh, the clear liquid nails or some wood glue underneath this just to make sure. Would you do that first before you would, screwing? Yes, okay. you put it in between. Now what's gonna happen is the glue is going to provide a, a bond and then the screws are gonna also give you extra security. Okay. So I'm using two screws in each board and this is gonna give me a lot of security. And again, this is just gonna hang on your door so you don't really have to worry, but it is gonna be outside in the elements, yeah. so not that we have. So after you get that all screwed together, you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna see you've got your whole basis for your pumpkin Perfect. with a top hat. Now, if you're gonna do a ghost and uh, or a mummy or something like that, we're gonna show you in the next segment how to decorate them. How to spook it how up. How to spook it up. And this thing will be, and well, oh, let's see. Oh, it's, it is our, ready. Our little hat. There we go. There we go. Oh. So there's a lot of decorations that you can get at Home Depot in uh, a fun Halloween way or in a spooky, scary kind of Halloween way. So you wanna come down there and check it out. Yeah. Um, and then if you want, you can uh, tune in for our next segment at 920 Where and we we'll decorate. show you how to decorate them. I love it. Thank right, you, Miss Debbie. Welcome. We'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, sounds great.